Hello everyone, and welcome to another part of the Element Warfare VFX Breakdown. This time, we're showing you how to do the lightning ball effect, which looks like that, except I'm not doing it in 23, I mean 24 frames per second, so it looks low. Anyway, it would look like that for it and stuff. Anyway, so let's show this. Okay, so let's start with the first arm. Basically, you can either track the um, arm, um, either manually or using the mocha or After Effects built-in tracker to track the hand. Or once you've created the effect, you can just do it manually, whichever you prefer. I, after this shot, I usually just did the electric ball manually because I felt it was just easier because my video is not great quality so it wouldn't really make much sense to track it but if your video is long with uh, the electric ball in then I highly recommend that you track it so anyway let's continue well let's forget about the track first let's just show how the electric ball is made so basically if I can get this to show show yes there we go and it magical um you have to create a new comp or pre comp um which is here so basically this has it's basically built up of advanced advanced lightning and a lens flare from optical flares so the advanced lightning, um, you put the lightning type to bouncy, the origin and direction to whatever you want to like animate it and things, because you can't just have it still. Uh, or you could animate using that, the conductivity state, um, or I think there's something else. But anyway, um, yeah, that's not really the main bit. The main bit is the optics compensation. So, you need to make sure the reverse lens disorder is not checked, but it's not usually checked, so you should be fine. And then change your um, FOV to about 170s or something like that. And then view center, just anything you like which is where you want it to go. So whereabouts in the um, electric ball do you want the centre of it to be? Um, once you've you know, done the FOV, it'll probably look like that, so you have to change this a bit so it's around there or something. So anyway, and make sure the FOV orientation is diagonal. That's important, otherwise it could look like that or that. The vertical would make it look really small, so keep it diagonal because that does both. Um, basically the lens there you just use pretty much anything you want but make sure you animate it so I have mine spinning so it makes it look alive like it's moving and causing all that light. So yeah, anyway, so putting the electric ball in, it's put that there. Um, so basically all you're going to do is make sure that um, motion below is checked here and click it for the electric wall here. So it will usually be like that, click it there and that's the motion blur. Looks like a pile of coins. Um, anyway, if you've got a track or null or whatever you've got, make sure you parent um, parent it to first arm by either using that or using this thing here. Anyway, so that way it will follow it. If not, you can just animate it. That's why it's in its own composition, so you don't have to animate both of the parts. That way it's easier. So, hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Um, thank you for watching, and I shall see you for the next effect.